Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and welcome to this question and answer Monday. So every Monday, I will be answering questions or covering a lot of topics about the life of an illustrator, life of a comic artist, life of a film artist. And today I thought I'd talk about uh, a question that uh, I do get a lot. People are afraid to write it in public, but they have asked me before. And I thought it'd be a very interesting topic, and that topic is how much does a comic book artist actually make? How much does a comic artist actually make in terms of dollar figure? Now that's a, that's a really, really interesting question. And I'll tell you right now, I'll say 90, I'll say 99% of all comic artists, 99%. Forget that, 100% of all comic artists, the reason that we got into comic books is not because of the money. I'll tell you that right now. There's no way it's because of the money. We draw comics because we love it. We draw comics because we grew up reading comics. We grew up loving to draw. That's why we wanted to draw comic books. I'll tell you, nobody said, I want to get into comics. I can't really draw, but I want to get into comics because I heard they make lots of money. No, nobody's really said that. Artists love comic books because they love to draw and they love to draw a lot. So the question is then, uh, how lucrative can comics be, okay? And I'll tell you right now, depending on who you are, depending on how, uh, you know, the type of pro project you're working on, depending on which company you're working on, like comics, you can make a, some money in comics, you can. You can make, in fact, make a lot of money in comics, but you can also make very, very little in comic books, okay? So today I'm gonna give you a little bit of my experience uh, working in comics. Now, a little disclaimer for everybody. Little disclaimer, okay? Me, personally, in my career, I drew comics full-time from 2000 to 2006. From then till now, I worked off and on. I did covers and I did do some interior artwork. Uh, some, uh, I believe, once in uh, 2011 and then again in 2013 when I worked for IDW again, okay? So, uh, I have an understanding of what page rate is. But, however, uh, number one, I've never had an exclusive deal. I never had an exclu exclusive deal, so I won't talk about that because I'm not sure. Also, I have not uh, done like a title like more than five issues in a row. Uh, I've done a five issue stint in Marvel and I've done one in Dreamwave, but I haven't done more than five issues because I kept bouncing around. Okay? So just take that as a disclaimer. Okay? So the actual facts I'm giving to you is actually from a specific website. I will tell you what that website is. I will link that below so you could see that yourself. And these are is data collected from 2015 from a whole bunch of professional artists who wish to share their rates uh, with the public. Okay, so today I'm actually not going to mention companies, okay? I'm not specifically going to say Marvel gives this much, DC gives that much, no. I'm going to keep everything general. I think you guys will be able to read between the lines which company is which. Uh, but I'm just going to split them up into tiers, okay? You have your, uh, your uh, I'll, I'll call them the third tier, the second tier, and the first tier of comic book companies, okay? Third tier, second tier, and first tier of companies, okay? So I will give you the numbers, the data, from that website, and I'll let you know what they are saying, okay? Okay, here's the data, okay? First of all, when it comes to line art, okay? When we're talking line art, we're talking both pencils and inks. Nowadays, most comic artists, there's not that many inkers as there used to be. Back when I was working, everyone had an inker. Like you were a penciler, you send it off to the inker, the inker sends it to the colors. Nowadays, uh, most uh, pencilers, they draw on the computer. Most pencilers, they go straight to ink. Like me personally, I go straight to ink now. So, uh, uh, there's not that many inkers out there right now. They, there still are, and st there still are some fabulous, fabulous inkers out there. Uh, but I will actually be going as if it's actual line art, because that's usually what uh, the companies are paying now for line art. Okay? So, let's start that off. So first of all, let's start with the interior artwork, okay? The artwork that's inside every comic book, the sequential arts, okay? These are the current page rates. And when I say page rates, this is how much an artist gets per page. Now, caveat, it doesn't matter how long they worked on the page. They can work on the page for a week. They can work on the page for a day. They can work on the page for an hour. Depending on the company, it doesn't matter how long they work on that page. The page rate is the same, okay? So... Here we go, for the penciler, let's start with the third tier, we'll call them the third tier, for an interior penciler or line artist, okay? 
the lowest sal the the salary ranges from twenty dollars a page to ninety dollars a page. Now there are the odd situations where there's a little bit higher, like there were some that were reported one seventy five, but between twenty dollars and ninety dollar page for the lower tier uh, artists, okay, uh, lower tier not artists for the third tier companies, okay. For the mid-tier companies, an line artist can make anywhere from $100 to $300, okay? And I'll tell you right now, that's where I was pretty much in the range of, between $100 and $300. Now the high range, okay, and I think we all know which of the high range uh, companies are. For line art, interior line art, we're looking anywhere between $200 and $700 per page. $200 and $700 per page, and that's for pencil or line art, interior line art. Okay? Now when it comes to covers, because covers is a whole different beast. Covers, it's what sells the book. So sometimes a little bit more money is given to someone who's doing covers, okay? For a cover, and they actually, when they say covers, they don't actually break it up. So I'm assuming they're meaning including colors as well, that uh, you are doing the whole part of the cover. Okay? For the lower tier, you were looking at around $100 for the cover. Mid tier, you're looking between uh, I'm saying lower mid. Third tier is low 100. Uh, second tier, we're looking between 200 and 800 dollars for a cover, and then the higher tier, we're looking about 400 to 650. Okay, and this is what we were, was reported. Again, I'm not making this up. This is what I've been reading at this website, and you can read that down below. And uh, for colorists, those who color uh, someone else's line art, you're making across the board. You're looking between 50 dollars and 150 dollars per page. Okay, so when it comes to actual page rates, it kind of varies. Okay, so who makes the, the $20 a page and who makes the $700 a page? And I'll tell you right now, it's the person, the person who makes uh, $700 a page, those are the top tier, those are the superstar artists, okay? Those are the artists who are driving up sales. Who are proven to drive up sales. Not only their, their name drives up sales, but they are working on a book that draw their sales are way, 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 way up there. Okay, so you're looking at people working on your X Men's, you're working on your Superman, Batman, like the top tier. They're the ones making that higher end, especially if their name is the one selling that book. If because they're working on that book, and then the the what's it called the sales shoot up another like twenty five thousand. Of course, they're gonna get more money. It makes sense. Now, for somebody starting out, of course, you're not going to make that kind of money because you're not proven yet, okay? The lower tier, uh, and I'll, I'll admit that was me. Now, for me personally, I'll let you know what my page rates were, okay? And again, uh, this was between 2000, 2006, and then uh, a little bit here and there. Um, because I, I was at Dreamwave for pretty much two years, and then uh, I bounced around from company to company, right? So I'd spend like uh, like a few issues here at this company, a few issues there at that company, a single issue here. So in terms of page rate, the lowest page rate I've ever gotten was $110 a page, okay? The highest page rate I've ever gotten was to $200 a page, okay? Because I never stayed at a company long enough to prove that I could handle a monthly book and to prove that my art could sell. Okay, that's why uh, my page rate kind of stayed at the material. Now, if you're doing that consistently, if you're able to find work, you know, 12 months of the year, uh, $200 a page, you're looking at a 22 page uh, book, um, book a month, you're still making, you know, uh, $4,400 a year, uh, times that by 12, you're, you know, you're already making like uh, over 50,000 a year. So it's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad until you consider the actual grind of working in comics, which I will actually talk about next year. So it, it, it's not so bad if you're able to find consistent work. Okay, that's the big caveat. Can you find consistent work? And I will talk about that uh, next week as well. Okay, so, uh, so how else does an artist supplement his income? Is that it? And the answer is no. An artist, there's a, a few more ways an artist can supplement their income. Uh, number one, is conventions okay that's why we have this thing called the convention circuit that's why nowadays artists they'll go to as many different conventions as they can and there they will sell two things first thing they will sell is commission sketches and uh, for me personally and I just started doing this and I didn't realize how much conventions help I never realized uh, the type of money you can make at conventions until literally last year Literally last year, if I knew how much money I could make at conventions, I would probably still be in comics, never went into film. 
because I'm like and all those uh, lean years would have been a lot better if I knew I could have just went to these conventions and do these type of things right but you know you could go there and uh, artists they sell you know different sketches and the better the more complicated sketch the more money they get right for example a headshot right now I charge around 40 50 dollars for a headshot right so I just draw a headshot of character usually it takes half an hour to half an hour to an hour max right some people even faster right and then a uh, half body you're looking at in from 75 to 100 dollars uh, a full body depending on on the top tier the the artists if they're a low lover artist maybe they're charging a hundred dollars uh, top tier artists maybe they're charging five hundred dollars six hundred dollars right and they're doing this during convention time so that weekend an artist can actually make a lot depending on if there are a lot of people coming to him or her at a convention so that's another way they supplement their income in fact there's this one artist he doesn't really have a fixed address. He actually goes from convention to convention to convention, staying at friends' house, houses, and staying at hotels. He doesn't have a fixed address because he just goes to a different convention every week, and he's a top-tier artist. So a lot of artists make their money, more money, doing the convention circuit. How else does an artist make some money? Well, uh, one other way, and this is one of the reasons why I still do traditional art. I mean, traditional art meaning I draw on board, you know, the good old ink on board right and some people ask why do you still do that we have Cintiqs now we have you know we have Photoshop now and the reason is because of the secondary market that is original art because uh, sometimes you could double your page rate just by selling that original art okay and again it all depends what it is it all depends on what characters are on the digital art, on the original art uh, if it's like a top tier character it depends what uh, how the page is arranged if it's a splash page if it's just uh, a superhero going like this right if that page will look good on a wall that type of artwork would cost more money right original art can range anywhere from fifty dollars maybe even thirty dollars fifty dollars for like the smaller tier pages like for example maybe it's just like little tiny talking heads like a thirty to fifty dollars to like maybe you can even get up to two hundred five hundred a thousand dollars even covers like X-Men covers, whatever, if they're famous covers, you could get anywhere between five and $10,000 for those uh, original arts, okay? But the thing is, it doesn't happen right away. The thing is, to, in order to get that type of money, to get into the top, upper tier range, number one, again, you have to be one of the more famous artists out there. You have to be working on one of the giant books, Superman, Batman, X-Men, uh, Hulk, Avengers, one of the top tier, and then you could be able to sell your art for that much, okay? Or you were just an artist who was well known, you could sell it for that much. So honestly, you won't know how much your artwork would sell until you get out there and try to sell it, okay? And you and you could tell, like if you price your artwork and it goes right away, you know, maybe you price that too low. And then if you had an artwork, you priced it, you thought it was, uh, you know, fairly priced, and just everyone looks at it, they like it, but nobody buys it. Then you only think to yourself, oh, maybe I'm pricing it too high, right? So original art, that is another way for an artist to get income. One more way an artist can make money, and this is a very small amount of money, depending on who you are, but it is something, and that is through royalties, okay? And usually this is from the bigger companies, okay? We're looking at Marvel DC. Uh, you get royalties from how much a book sells, and not only that, how much trade paperback sells, and that is over the lifetime of that particular trade paperback or comic book itself, okay? So that could turn into quite a bit of money. I'll be honest, I'm still getting like little micro checks from Marvel and DC for work I did years ago, okay? Now we're talking, like nowadays we're only talking about like maybe $25 or something, but hey, $25, I could buy lunch, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's a little bit, but for the top tier guys, again, those working on X-Men, those working on Avengers, those working on uh, Justice League, Superman, those guys, they're getting huge royalty royalties. We're getting, we're talking about thousands of dollars uh, from you know the sales of a particular book. So that's a little bit something extra, but it's not something to live on. Okay, but that's a little bit extra money people uh, artists get. So the website I collected the data from is from a website called fairpagerates.com. Fairpagerates.com. So go check out that website. Now I'm not affiliated with them at all. It's just a website I found and I found uh, the numbers. Uh, they made sense to me. They made sense to me. So that's why I'm sharing that with you. I don't know how accurate they are. 
Okay, so uh, take that as a disclaimer too. I'm not sure how accurate how accurate there are. So if you do get an opportunity to go Marvel DC, I wouldn't take this fair page rates and go, look at this, you have to pay me this. I wouldn't do that, okay? Especially if you're starting out Marvel DC, just hear what page rate they offer you. And honestly, I would just go with that, okay? I would just go with that unless you've been working a lot, okay? Now, if you um, have been working a long time, they give you a page rate, then you might have leverage to ask for a little bit more money. Okay, you guys, you guys can get a little bump up here and there, but I wouldn't do that until you could prove that uh, you are an established artist or you have been working consistently. I wouldn't do that at all. So that's the type of money you could make working in comic books, okay? So there is no, def like I can't say definitively uh, a comic book artist can make 50000 a year. I can't because there are so many different factors. Uh, because what we're not taking into consideration, like you hear these numbers and some of them sound pretty good, but what you're not taking into consideration is how much work is available, okay? When that work is available. Those are two really big variables. And uh, if you're able to get work in the first place, okay? So next week I'm going to talk about what it's really like working in comics. And again, uh, take this with a grain of salt because this was my experience working full time between the years 2000 and 2006, okay? It's very different today. A lot of things have changed today, okay? But I'll tell you guys how it was for me back then. Uh, from what I heard from some of my friends, it's still kind of that way today, okay? Uh, so there was a reason why I decided to leave comics to get into film after a while. But uh, now, you know, thinking about it now, now that I'm older and wiser, I think I could have done things so that I could have stayed in comics, but that's the way life goes. So. We'll see how that goes. So I hope uh, I hope that was informative to you. Again, take it with a grain of salt. Again, I don't work in comics right now, so if there was some information wrong, I I, I apologize. All the data, the actual numbers that I took, were from the website down below. So please check out that website down below and take it with a grain of salt. Like um, those uh, artists that uh, contribute to that website, they could be lying. So I don't know for sure. And uh, I apologize if I was way off on some of those things, but that was the information I heard and from my personal experience. But I hope that helped and I hope that uh, helped all of you. Now, if you have any questions about working in art at all, in comics, in film, please do let me know. Please let me know down below. Comment below. Ask me any question you would like. I'd be happy to answer that for you. If I don't answer it here on the channel on Mondays, I will answer it in my vlog on my other channel, youtube.com slash jamesrays, where I answer answer questions daily. Any question I will see, I will actually go ahead and answer it right away on that particular vlog. So please follow me over there. I try to give a lot of advice as you watch me go through my journey. So please subscribe to that channel. Also subscribe to me here, youtube.com slash theboxofficeartist. Please follow me on social... Ah, I've been talking a lot. Please follow me on social media, social media. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at Box Office Artist. Please also follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Box Office Artist. And thank you for watching. My name is James. I'm out of breath. I'm The Box Office Artist. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.